In this video, I will show you how to create execution list configurations within the requirements section of Tricentis Tosca. First of all, let me explain what an execution list configuration does in the requirements section. So basically, it is a container for several execution lists that you have linked to the requirements section. And why would you need this? Well, let's assume you want to run tests on two different systems, such as Windows 8 and Windows 10. Beforehand, you've set up the necessary test configuration parameters in the configuration tab or on the execution lists themselves that define the environment or conditions under which you want your tests to be run. In our example, we have test configuration parameters set on two execution list folders containing execution lists to be run on different operating systems. One set on Windows 8 and the other set on Windows 10. So when you drag and drop execution lists onto the requirements set without these configurations, you will lose track of what environments you are running your tests in. To avoid this, you can create configuration containers directly in the requirements set, which will give you a clearer overview of which systems your tests are running on. In our example, the two Windows operating systems. To create an execution list configuration, right-click on the requirements set and select Create Execution List Configuration from the mini toolbar. You can also create an execution list configuration using the shortcut Ctrl N, Ctrl C. Then, just drag and drop execution lists from the execution section onto your newly created execution list configuration. We're now able to structure and organize the execution lists linked to my requirements. Use the shortcut F12 to show or hide execution list configurations in the details window of the requirements set. You can disable execution list configurations that you're currently not using, but that you also don't want to delete. To disable a selected execution list configuration, right-click and select Toggle Enabled from the context menu. You can select multiple execution list configurations by holding Control. Tosca Commander grays out the disabled execution list configuration. To enable it again, select Toggle Enabled once more from the context menu. Alternatively, you can select the execution list configurations and press F7 to toggle between enabled and disabled. If you want a particular execution list configuration to be the only one that is enabled or disabled, you can quickly and easily do this by right-clicking on the execution list configuration and selecting Toggle Exclusive Enabled State from the context menu. If the selected execution list configuration is enabled, Tosca will disable it and enable all other execution list configurations linked to that requirement set. If it is disabled, Tosca will enable it and disable the rest. So to sum this up, by creating execution list configurations, you can keep a structured overview in the requirement section of which tests need to be run on which configuration. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the Tracentis Academy channel to get the latest tips and tricks and user tutorials to help you best utilize Tracentis continuous testing platform. For more information, please click the links in the description.